What's good, everybody? It's Casual Gaming, and we're finally back with some more content. We are back with some settlement survival. And the main reason I wanted to get back into this game is because they had an update not too long ago where they finally added some combat to the game. So before starting this Let's Play, let's just go ahead and widescreen it first. As you can see here, combat mode. Um, but I did go ahead and just test it out, played through the first couple of years before starting this recording just so I could get a little familiar with the game again. It's been a long time. And also just kind of learn the process of combat mode. Now, depending on your familiarity with it, I believe that combat mode can be a little bit difficult. So I'm a little glad that I did a little run before starting this, but also we'll just have to see how it goes. We'll see if what I learned has paid off. We are keeping everything default, going with the medium map, playing on normal difficulty, and let's get the colony started. We're going to call it Keijo Town. And our first step, like the good old days, is choosing where we want to start. Over here wouldn't be bad if we had... more animals or seeds, but I like the mountains over here. I think we're gonna reset the map once or twice. Up here already feels a lot better. We don't have a lot of stone or iron to start off with, and we don't want to start too close to the edge. You'll see why that's the case shortly. But I think we're going to start here. We have some stone and iron up here over on the west side of the map, and then we also have a few animals and some seeds to gather as well. So let's go ahead and place our colony. We also have some mountains for choke points, which again, you'll find out why that's important later on. Well, let's finally get settled. Let's start the colony. Um, there's a lot of things that I feel like I learned, whether I um, am smart enough to implement them in this run, we'll find out. Uh, but there's a few things that I want to pay attention to. We do not need the tutorials. We don't need the tutorials here. Maybe we'll regret that later. Um, but first of all, let's go ahead and gather everything in this area. Start off strong. We're going to build some houses right here, start our little block of homes. And to start off with, what do we want to get? We also have the new DLC, Tourism, which it's not really that new, but I have not checked it out. I don't really know what all this does, increases, increases town attractiveness, small number of tourists. Um, a basic attraction haven't really messed with any of that stuff we also have a detention basin which is going to help us with some of the natural disasters which nas they did add a few more natural disasters and I know they tweaked them I believe that there are 8 or 9 different natural disasters at this point not to mention the new combat events so this calendar will be getting filled up here shortly just a refresher if any of you guys are new to this game or some of you who haven't watched it or played it in a while we have our resources we have our game speed and then we can pause it or press play we have our silver coins so our currency we have our fertility rate and then if you hover over it it's all the things that affect it we have the number of citizens so adults students and kids and then our current amount of laborers our happiness level our health level our technology tree is looking quite different from the last time we played it. And then we have all of our different technologies that we can start researching. We also have the month and the year. This has to do with weather. So it's dry, wind speed, and temperature. It is quite cold right now. 
And then this is kind of our timeline of events. So the arrow represents where we are currently at, a square represents a month, and then you can see so many months ahead. We also have our factions for trade, town details, we can go to our collection, see everything we've unlocked. We started with pumpkin and tomatoes on this run. Policies, which I believe are new since I have last played on the channel. Um, we can start enforcing some policies to better micromanage our citizens. Menu, we need a palace of justice to start using edicts. Access point shop, I'm assuming this is just, um, you spend real money here to get these coins. Haven't really ever looked at that stuff. And then we have our map as well. So I think the first thing we want to get is going to be a hunter's hut. I think a hunter's hut is going to be very important early on. And we're going to put that up here in the corner. Let's go ahead and add some builders to our builder's cabin. Make sure that um, these are getting built as quickly as possible. We're also probably going to want a big well sooner rather than later. And it looks like stone is already going to be a problem, so let's just go ahead and set up the stone and iron uh, to the mine. Start stocking up on our supplies here. I don't think I'm going to bother with any roads quite yet. I think we're just going to focus on housing and then the beginning stages, the beginning productions that we need. Forester's hut, we can just manually cut trees for now. Same thing with gatherer's hut just while we are limited on our workers clinic is going to be very important to get early on so let's go ahead and make sure we have this as well we'll put the clinic on the other side of the well but we already have one injury so it's going to be important to get that clinic up as soon as possible Chapel is also going to help with our happiness, but I think we're going to hold off on that just for now. And also, I believe this is new from the last time we played, but we need a latrine. Because if not, our citizens are just going to poop in the street. And obviously, that's not sanitary. We can't have that. So we do want this close to the housing. Let's go ahead and set it here for now, and then you can see the range at which it benefits I believe it only benefits houses, so we'll try and keep it in the central area of where we're going to put our houses. We're probably going to keep production more over on the left side and residential over on the right side. I've been paying a lot more attention to logistics in this game because logistics are very important. So we want to keep that in mind when building all of our stuff, especially production and manufacturing that uses... Um, coinciding resources and we also are going to want to look into strategically placing our warehouses and controlling what is put in them that is going to be important we want all of our buildings to be as efficient as possible so we don't have to keep wasting resources and people on just building extra buildings just because our main one isn't producing effectively probably be a good idea to get a field early on just to start getting food production going I think an 8 by 10 is okay we'll kind of try and keep our food to the north here production over here residential over here I think that's a good plan at least for a basic blueprint And let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit while we wait for these buildings to get built. Our laborers have jobs right now. Everybody should be busy for quite some time. Jobs are, or laborers are already running low. So that's definitely something we'll have to pay attention to. Water's running low, iron, stone, food. So start with the basics. We get the basics and then we build up from there. We are already out of iron, but after they're done chopping these trees, gathering the plants from the original order, 
they'll be going over here. Well, it's finished. We're just going to stick with one person right now, but keep this open for when laborers aren't doing anything. They'll fill that job temporarily. Water is already running quite low, so it's a good thing we got that early. Fuel reserves are low as well. The good thing is, is we just had winter, but let's go ahead and slow it down, make sure we get that built. We have a merchant who wants to buy stone or planks. We don't have any planks, and 840 is crazy, but it's also a good amount of silver. And stone, even if we had it, we can't really afford to get rid of that right now. Uh, let's go ahead and gather plants over here so we pick up these seeds, and then hopefully uh, these hunters will get some bison for us. That's actually a really nice starting animal if we can get those. And then research right away. We're not going to waste any time on getting the chopping house. We're going to go straight for the sawmill because it's more efficient. Ideally, it'd be nice to get the water sawmill, sawmill but I think that's just going to be too far for current purposes. So I think we just go with the regular sawmill for now. And we should probably put it towards the area we're going to put our forester's hut, which is probably going to be in this direction. So let's go ahead and just put it here for now. First crops are done. Let's go ahead and start with pumpkin, I guess. Farmland policy has been unlocked. You can change policies in the town hall. And we already had somebody become a laborer. We're also going to want to get a school soon. Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about it for the first wave, but once we start having children and once we get our first set of immigrants, we'll probably start thinking about getting a school right away. We'll open that up as well, and we are already down to one worker. Um, so we're going to have to remove some builders, which is fine. We'll actually do that now, uh, just so they can gather these resources faster. And then iron is next, which is what these buildings are going to be missing. Already getting some extra stone. Let's make sure we're staying up with food since it's not quite growing season yet. We'll put a bunch of food out to, grab, uh, to gather. We have another seed down here as well. So I think we just wait for a little bit. Put it on five times speed let them start getting these things done we do have some geese over here as well doesn't look like there are any cubs so we'll just be hunting those but if we can get some bison off the bat that would be extremely helpful we also need to find flax seeds because we're gonna want to get clothing production on early and then we will need to unlock weaving which gives us the textile mill turn that flex into it's not leather um i don't know what you turn flax into does it say here to linen so we need to start getting some linen produced new seed and it's flax, so that's perfect. Granted, we don't necessarily have the workers for it right now. Um, we could pull somebody off of the marketplace. And just to start stockpiling on flax, it would be nice. But I think more importantly, we need hunting going as of, of right now. I don't think we can afford people getting on a flax farm and then the textile mill so i think we're gonna hold off on that for a little bit but let's make sure we're still collecting these rocks we need domestic fuel which means we're gonna need some more wood so i think we're just gonna start chopping down trees over here now if you were to cut down a big area rather than doing it in small chunks i'm not sure how that affects the growth rate of the trees I feel like when I just chop down a huge square, it takes a lot longer for the trees to grow. So I'm going to just try and do like patches for now. And then C 
see if that seems to be effective. So we'll take out a few patches, stock up on some timber. Water's doing okay at the moment. I think one person is okay while we have this many colonists. Doesn't look like we've had any people born yet, any babies. So our population is not growing. We started with 21. Is there anything else we want to get as of right now? I guess while we have the extra laborers, we'll go ahead and start doing that. Our builders shouldn't be building anything, so they will act as laborers for the time being. And I think we just let it ride out for a little bit. Health is doing well because we just got the clinic up and going. But that is probably going to drop pretty soon because we just get a bonus um, at the start of the game. And that casually drops. One person injured. Other than that, it's not a bad start for us. It only really turns bad when we start running out of resources. So hopefully we manage and maintain our resources pretty well. Need to try and stock up on some fuel before the winter again so we don't have any people freezing to death. People who watched my last Let's Play know that that was a huge problem. So we're gonna try and not allow that to happen. And we just let our colonists go for a little bit. Our first event is just going to be a transport ship, which we do not have a dock, and we are not going to worry about getting a dock yet. Um, too early on, we don't have an excess of any materials, and we just don't really have workers that we can send over there. So I think we're going to hold off on that. I think we have what we need. We have some food. We also have some extra textiles. We're getting wool and leather, which will help us in our clothing making. So we're, we still have 160 reserve. We're going to need to get some more tools here soon. So we're gonna have to get a smithy, which now apparently brings its own problems, which I'm sure you guys will experience here shortly. Gathering the plants, getting a little low on stone as well. So let's go ahead and get half of this deposit. And then once we clear these deposits, um, we have stone way down here. We have a good cluster here. And that's about it. So quarry might be pretty urgent for us early on. Also, let's go ahead and now that we have a break, uh, get some more houses because we still have a few homeless people With it being early on them being homeless isn't going to have a big effect because our population um, Buff is minus 39% for fertility rate. So as our population grows that number is gonna go down um, And that's why we have plus stress from housing because we have some people homeless but like I said, it's still at 100% because our population starts off well. Um, as long as people have a place to go in the winter, they have a place where they can go eat, uh, it should be fine. But we'll go ahead and make the people happy. We'll make sure they have homes. We're doing decent on food, and we haven't even had our harvest yet. Water is increasing. We have wood, stone, and iron getting picked up by our laborers. Fuel is on the increase. I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm feeling good about this colony. Eva became a laborer. Is there anywhere else that we wanna put a worker for right now? Or do we wanna look into getting something else? Really like those guys to get the bison here. I wish you could control the hunter's cabin because it just seems like they're a little wonky. I feel like when we built this, the bison were right here and for some reason they haven't gone in this direction to hunt animals. Not sure where they're going. 
I guess there is some stuff in this area that they're grabbing. You can kind of see their pathing. Uh, she's just resting, so that's why she's going towards the house. Zero bursts again, so I don't think we'll waste our one labor on getting a school yet. As you can see, we can get arrow towers for defending ourselves. Don't want to get this yet because we don't have an immigrant event coming anytime soon, and that's going to use a majority of our iron and stone. Not until we get the quarry at least, which realistically could start going for the quarry early on and just put one worker in it. I don't know how expensive it is. It's going to be 60 iron and 80 wood. So maybe we hold off on that for now. We just let our two laborers go. Probably need another person on fuel actually, which means we need to make sure that we're maintaining our timber. But I don't think they've gotten to getting the timber yet because we sent a whole bunch of plants to be harvested. But food should be good for the winter until our next harvest. So that's good news. We don't have to worry about that. As y'all can see, well maybe you can't because it's green and my green screen, but we are back with the green tea, ginseng, and honey. Potentially the best Arizona flavor. I'm not trying to start arguments, but it might be the best one. That's just my opinion. You don't have to hate me for it. It's just my opinion. We got another seed, which is going to be coffee. Not gonna worry about that yet. Our people are fine just drinking water. Um, but that, once we start making coffee, it does give us a plus five health bonus and a plus 10 thirst bonus. So, kinda worth getting. What is tea under? Tea is a better drink. Okay. So just when we want a small boost to coffee, or to health which we're doing okay right now um we can start getting coffee production going two more people just became laborers which i think we're gonna let them go because we have quite a few things to catch up on and then we are going to potentially think about getting a forester set just so we can have some consistent timber production to keep up with our domestic fuel or we start getting a quarry already uh, to start stocking up on stone because that seems like it's going to be a pain to gather here soon. Still no people born. Which means it'd be nice to have an immigrant event shortly. Have to make sure to get our town hall down. And I think we just keep letting it go. Let our laborers catch up see what our stockpiles are looking like afterwards and then depending on how much timber we have depending on how much this gets us and then depending on how much stone we have we'll make our decision there but i think three laborers for now is fine i think everything else is looking good tools are becoming a bit worrisome and we're gonna need stone for that unless we go straight to iron tools but that uses more resources I think we might have to go with the quarry and just start manually chopping trees for now until we get enough workers to get a forester's hut. But I think that's going to be our next two steps. And then depending on how many children we have, also think about getting a school. I think that's our game plan for now. Knock on wood, we have no combat events anytime soon because we have not even thought about starting any of that stuff. Um, so definitely don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Haven't gotten any arrow towers, which we're not going to place them down yet. You'll see why later. Um, and then... Getting troops takes quite a long time. It takes quite a long time, not going to lie. So we should definitely start on that sooner rather than later. We just don't really have the laborers to afford it right now. So we are going to hold off on that. Just play it patient. Play it right. Play it smooth, 
keep everybody alive as long as possible. And then we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I hope y'all have faith on me. I hope the colonists have faith in me. I have faith in me. It's going well so far. We haven't struggled in a single area yet. We do have two people injured, but we have a clinic. We have a clinic. So not too bad. Our research is extremely slow though, because we don't have a school or a research institute. That is one thing that I didn't necessarily think about. And now that our laborers are catching up, maybe it's worth getting a school just for the research. We don't necessarily need the research right now. Our stone is looking kind of decent, but like I said, this is basically the last deposit we have. So I think a quarry is going to be the move. We have enough iron to sustain it, and then more iron to get over here. Timber does look like it might be a slight problem. We'll go ahead and gather a few more plants, but food is looking pretty good, which I'm happy about. Fuel is looking good going into winter. We still have a stockpile, so our houses should be fine. Everybody has a home now. We'll go ahead and gather more iron, because we're about to use most of it uh, for this quarry make sure to keep lining up trees to chop down again in patches just to see if this speeds up the process of the trees reproducing we do have I believe this is for fields no this is for pastures we have two pasture spots over here which is going to increase output something to keep in mind bison are still here but we haven't captured them yet and without further ado, Forester's Hut we said is going to go over here. Maybe we put our mining stuff up here for now. Agriculture stuff is going to be in this area and probably shift towards here. So maybe production shifts this way. Um, but also I don't want to put a huge quarry over here if we're going to have a Forester's Hut. So maybe we put some production here I guess we could even go here with it mm. because I'm gonna implement transfer stations in this playthrough to transfer materials to specific warehouses I think it's okay if we have our quarry here I feel like it's more out of the way here um, so I feel like that's a better spot for it and then like our actual production buildings will go over here like our manufacturing buildings so that'll get us our stone so we won't really have to worry about that any longer um, go ahead and grab the rest of this iron just in case inventory is still looking good for our original storage yard we did have three births so we have some children now um, we are going to put the school the school wants to be needs to be as close to the houses as possible um, so let's just go ahead and put it on the that's actually gonna cover the entrance of that house so no we'll put the school here we'll do another row of houses along the well and then we'll also put our chapel maybe like right here or in this area. But we'll go ahead and get the school. We have four laborers. We'll probably put two in the quarry because stone production. We're looking kind of good. We have another patch right here we can grab. I don't think we're in desperate need of stone. So I don't think we need to commit a bunch of workers to it yet. How are textiles doing? We just need to make sure we have enough stone to consistently make tools but textiles how are we doing there raw materials we have 51 leather 14 alpaca wool it's not a whole lot we'll let that go for a little bit because we're still looking good on clothes we have 132 but once we start getting more laborers or more colonists they're going to start going through these a lot faster so while we wait for that 
Um, it does look like our labors are done. So let's just go ahead and make sure our timber is staying up. We don't want to go too far from the houses because they're going to have to come back and get warm. Gather some more timber and then we have the school going. Happiness is doing okay. Once it drops below 60, which looks like it's going to be soon actually, we'll go ahead and grab the chapel, and then we want to start thinking about our forester's hut. Now we have another laborer. We did get another tech point. Don't need to spend it quite yet. Go ahead and save them just in case we come into a situation where we need a few of them. Somebody wants a new house, they're just gonna have to wait. Can't really afford that right now. I mean, we can, but we have other priorities. Don't wanna use too many of our resources. They are limited at early game. They already collected those trees. Food is doing quite well so far, um, but we will go ahead and make sure to keep gathering plants because we have a chance of getting reed and then also herbs. Um, which herbs is going to make our medicinal powder, which is going to improve the health bonus that we get from our clinics. So pretty important early on. Just don't necessarily have the workers, and I want to make sure we're stocking up on herbs, probably getting a gatherer's hut, so we have a constant supply of them. Um, so I'll probably get that maybe after our first wave of immigrants comes in. Depending on what happens faster, our children grow up or the immigrants event. But it shouldn't be too long before our first immigrant event. Shh, I'm hoping it happens within like the first four years. Anything longer than that, we might struggle a little bit. We might struggle. Plants are being gathered. Quarry and school are being built. Let's go ahead and zoom into the town for a little bit while we wait. Bison are getting close to base, yet for some reason we still don't have them. They are tracking animals in this direction, but of course they all go over here. He just picked something up. Where are you going, guy? Where, where are you going? Who are you tracking? Track the bison. Like, why? Why? Also, getting a, a cemetery looks like it'll boost their happiness as well. But, honestly, this probably looks, this screen looks a lot different from the last time you've seen it. So, they go into much further detail on what's affecting their health, their happiness. Uh, you have an inventory, a stress level, movement speed, what their education is, how old they are, warmth, stamina their thirst, hunger, and vitality, and then what increases their happiness and health, and then you can see their backpack, what they currently have equipped, what they're doing, what their profession is, and then we can also change their name, which honestly, you pay attention to names right here. Every once in a while, we'll go into that citizen perspective. If you guys would like your names, tied to some of these citizens and be a part of Keijo Town. You guys are more than welcome to drop either your username or just say you'd like your name added and we will go ahead and add some of your names to the citizens. It might make it more fun to keep track of specific citizens. Uh, 400 leather or alpaca meat, we have neither and aren't willing to trade either. Money is going to be a lot more important early game uh, now than it was before because you need them to afford troops and also having the arrow towers active costs a salary. So having a decent amount of silver early on is very important. Um, and I'll go into further detail once we start actually getting into that. Honestly, we don't really need all these plants for right now. We more need trees. So we'll only gather a couple and then we need to go get some timber. 
now that it's warmer out, we can start going further out. Don't necessarily have to worry about them freezing. So let's get a few batches of trees, making we're making sure we stay good. I think that'll be okay for now. Um, this would have got done a lot quicker if we just put more builders in here, but also we have people gathering resources, so I'm not too pressed about it. Stone's still doing fine. Um, getting the school finished earlier on would be nice, so I'll put one more builder in there. But we are out of timber, so it's important that we keep these guys gathering in the forest. They're literally right next, right next to it. And they're not grabbing it. They're not grabbing it. Why? We need animals. We need pastures. We are only going to start with two people here. That gives us two laborers, but we'll also take a builder off once that's complete. Get some stone production going. Which stone... It's going to cost us stone to make a cemetery. And we got buffalo. Buffalo as our first animal, which gives us fat, leather, and buffalo meat. Also poop, which is going to be useful for making our compost and fertilizer. But having buffaloes off bat is actually really huge. I think, um, not quite yet, but pretty soon here, I'm going to get our first pasture. It kind of sucks that these are all the way towards the edge because we don't necessarily want to build close to the edge in case combat events come from this side. It's going to be hard to prepare for that. Um, so I don't think we're going to go after the bonus yet, but we'll probably take some people off of the hunter's hut and then put them in the pasture. We have zero students, so it doesn't look like any of these kiddos are old enough to become a student yet. Um, but this is going to help us with our XP output for research. Next step, we definitely need a forester's hut here. Um, Maybe right here for now. We can always move this stuff and destroy it. Because the only thing is I don't want it to mess up all of my production over here if I place it here. Plus I'm probably going to want to build some houses in this area. But temporarily, I think this is an okay spot. It's close enough to our wood chopping house. Um, we're probably going to get another storage thing specifically for wood. And then we can put some food over here as well. Storage is probably getting pretty close to full already. Uh, it's at 73. Water is looking good. And we have our first set of immigrants in probably a little over a year from now. So that'll be nice. That'll give us a nice boost. Then we can really start going through some buildings, planning out what we want to do. We're going to need a smithy here very shortly, actually. We don't have enough wood to build the wood gathering place. Makes sense. Make sure we're getting a decent amount of wood here. Um, let's... Can we pause? Like, just pause? We'll just disable this for now. Um, we'll make sure that they go gather... All this wood. Food is doing fine, not too worried. Um, we can honestly cut down all the trees in here, because they are just going to replant them anyways. So let's pause the wood, we have a good stockpile. They cap out at 500 as of right now anyways until we increase that. So they would have stopped working once they hit 500. Um, but let's go ahead and get this wood. 
as quickly as possible, get this finished, start getting some automation, and then honestly we can probably just stick with having two here for now. We'll think about getting a warehouse. I don't know if we want to put a warehouse over here yet or if we just want to do a storage yard. Storage yards don't cost anything to build. Uh, they just don't hold as much weight. But if we're only putting wood here for now, I think that's okay. We are also, I don't believe in our last colony, we really took down any buildings and like rearranged ever. So that is something that I'm probably going to be doing in this run. Um, so like I said, with this forester's hut, I believe this is just gonna be a temporary position because we want our production moving this way and kind of staying together, where agriculture is kind of going this way. Um, we're going to need cut stone in order to increase the weight and to have more storage there. We do have two people at water, which honestly I think we're doing okay with water right now. Um, so if anything, we could always try and take a person off of that. This is getting built so we have enough wood. And a little extra. Let's keep one person in here for now, just to maintain. And then we do actually have enough workers for a smithy. Smithy is gonna wanna kinda be close to stone and wood. Not a fan of how that's not even. I accidentally placed that hunter's hut a little too close. Honestly, we'll just put it there for now. That's fine. Not too worried about it. We'll change everything around later on to make it look pretty. We'll also maybe uh, get into some decorations. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Honestly, I was paying attention to the smithy, so maybe there was a pop-up. We have a new event. A bandit camp has appeared. Bandits will invade your town in six years. You can train citizens into soldiers to defeat them. And they are going to spawn right north. Um, invasion time is in about 2100 days. Number of bandits don't think it says um, unless it's just referencing to this bottom panel right here but it looks like they can only build up spear bandits as of right now um, the bandit camps themselves level up over time and from what I understand when I tried to attack it with some of my troops um, in my own run it had gotten to level 3 by that point and uh, let's just say good things did not happen. Good things did not happen. Many soldiers were slain that day. Many soldiers. So we are going to have to start thinking about the troop tree. Once we get these immigrants are probably when we'll start doing that, which means we'll probably have a little over five years until that first bandit raid. Um, but once we get these immigrants, because it uses laborers to train up soldiers, we can't really afford that right now. We, we need the workers, we need to stabilize all of our basic materials, and then we can start thinking about it. I don't really want to take somebody off the hunter's hut yet, just because that's the only way of getting textiles. Again, clothes are looking pretty decent as of right now, but still. We also... I'm probably going to need a little bit more iron because we're running a bit low. Our last labor went in here. We're going to just stick with stone, our most basic, because we have stone production and timber production where we don't have iron production yet. Just kind of relying on the world's resources at this time. So we're going to go ahead and hold off. 
hold off. Shipping events about to happen. Doesn't matter to us as of right now. And immigrants should be about a year away. Food is looking good. We're finally getting some timber production. Uh, we have um, our people who aren't doing anything since we don't necessarily have laborers. Our people who are free of work going over here. We'll also line up just some extra trees to help us out. Make sure our timber is staying at a decent amount just in case we need to build anything. Apparently our fuel is doing amazing. We got a decent amount of herbs saved up. Happiness is 60 though. So we can maybe take somebody off this hunter's hut and finally get a chapel. I think the chapel will be That reaches all our housing, it reaches that reaches all of our buildings. So the only people who won't benefit from this is the laborers if they go outside of range. So I think that's a good spot. Because we're not going to go too much farther than that with our housing either. And then this will get a lot of our production in the zone. Good spot. Good spot. Let's get that going. We are going to have to free somebody up to be a priest. I don't know what the worker of the chapel is. It makes sense if it was a priest, right? We also have another technology point, but not really a need to use it yet. Not anything we're looking to get at this time. I think we are just going to go with a simple storage yard over here just to reduce um, travel time. And then we'll go ahead and prioritize storage here, probably just to plants wood I think that's it although our inventory is getting pretty full from water so we're gonna take somebody off of water for now um, and then it might be time to start thinking about a warehouse could just get a temporarily temporary uh, storage yard right here next to our hunter's hut and we'll put a little bit of everything there it's not gonna hold a lot but at least for right now and then afterwards, we'll destroy it and just put a warehouse right on top of it. But for right now, that'll hold everything where this will just hold our timber. And that way, our fuel people only need to walk right here for it. And then take the fuel right here. Super easy, super short trip. This is going to store everything. Looking good, y'all. We're looking good. It's a good start. We're almost into year three already. Humidity is bad. So really what this weather does, like the wind speed and the humidity, and then obviously the temperature has a factor too, but depending on what this stuff looks like when there is a natural disaster event up on the timeline is going to depend, or going to determine which natural disaster we actually end up getting. So that is something to pay attention to. Um, I had about three natural disaster events when doing my own run, and apparently they can be false alarms because all three of them were. So I actually have not experienced a natural disaster since the update. Um, I haven't experienced any of the new ones or any of the tweaked ones. I'm not sure if they all got changes to them or just a select few and then they added some. Not exactly sure. I'll probably have to take a look at the patch notes after this episode um, just to get a little f more familiar with it. We're full on fuel, which is absolutely amazing. So that has not been an issue yet. Nobody freezing to death. We're doing so well, so well, y'all. We've learned so much. 
tools are getting made and we are falling short of those. We still have over 100 clothes. Iron's doing okay. Stone should be fine. Timber, we're finally getting some production going. But we've used all the materials needed for this building. It's already put in there, so now they're just building it. So we don't need to worry about losing much more resources except for our production. Which at this point, because fuel's done, our only production is the smithy right now. So we should have a decent resting period to stock up on resources. While I'm thinking about it, let's just go ahead and deselect all raw materials. We'll put timber in here. And then we'll also put raw food in here. And then that'll be it for what this holds. This is down to 75%, so we're freeing up some space, so it's just good. And then we're starting to put stuff in here as well. So storage should be set for a little bit. And then really our next stage is getting ready for these immigrants because none of the children are old enough to go to school. So they won't be turning into laborers anytime soon. Probably be at least another year, I'm assuming. And then um, once the immigrants come in, we will start getting some more production going, deciding on what path we want to take next. Definitely need to start get, thinking about getting some troops and maybe placing some nice arrow towers. Um, the reason why I wanted to go into choke pointy areas, narrow areas right here, is because if we finally take a look at these arrow towers, the range is not very big, right? So if they're gonna come towards my colony, they're either going to go on the left side or the right side of this mountain. If we put an arrow tower here, it covers the entire valley, right? Like, they can't walk over mountains. So if they come through this valley, the arrow tower can reach them. And then over here, we just go up against the mountain because they shouldn't stray too far from the mountain when attacking. Now, the problem is, is when we get the other random event, which I won't spoil it for you. You guys will have to see what it is, but once it comes up, I'll explain that a little more later. And that is where the placement of arrow towers really comes in crucial if you don't have troops yet. Which, as I said before, training troops can take quite a while and is also quite the money investment. Um, so we're going to want to start thinking about stocking up on some materials like we're doing now. Getting ready for the merchant cart to come in and hopefully having something we have or is interested in something we have an excess in and get some extra money because we will be spending it very soon. We do have our chapel going, so this should boost happiness here shortly. And then we also need to start thinking about getting a cemetery. The good thing is, is nobody's died yet. Nobody has died in almost the first three years. Let's all knock on wood and hope that that stays the case. But so far, so good, y'all. We're doing well. We're doing well. I wasn't exactly sure how long I was going to make this episode, but seeing as we're getting pretty close to the hour mark, I might just go for the hour. I might just go for the hour. And since we don't have too much going on at the moment, um, we'll probably set our workers to gather some plants just in case we can get some more herbs because um, we don't really need food. And then we'll also just make sure we're keeping up on our wood for when we finally do need to get some buildings down um trees don't look like they're growing back too slow so maybe what we're doing is kind of working again we're just looking for small patches also looking for fully grown trees because i'm assuming that those give us the most wood but also since it's about to be the middle of winter we don't want to go too far from our base and have people freeze to death that would not be good. All right, so we got a couple trees lined up. Let's go ahead and five times speed it. Zoom in on our colony since we have it in a little bit. It's coming together. It's coming together. Let things play out for a little bit as we wait for our immigrants. Might need to put somebody else in the smithy, but I think that's mainly because everybody is just replacing their tools now. Once they replace the tools, Obviously, it should last them for a little bit, and then we shouldn't run out as quickly. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's the case. If we start getting maybe down to like 10, 
I'll put another smithy. Uh, water is still doing fine just with one person. So maybe we'll take somebody off the hunter's hut. Textiles. Raw materials. We got an okay amount of textiles. An okay amount. Preferably not taking somebody off of that, to be honest. Maybe we'll temporarily disable our sawmill since we're full. Actually, oh, we just got an influx of tools. We'll, we'll leave things. We'll leave things because as of now, he's acting as our laborer because he doesn't have any work to do. So I think we'll leave things how they are. We'll just let it go. We'll just let it play out. We'll enjoy the music. We'll watch our citizens work and actually live a happy life because I'm keeping them safe, healthy, and happy. I'm doing such a great job and they are truly blessed to have me. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I want to say we have about eight or nine months which reminds me, we actually do need to get the town hall here shortly. Should also maybe think about getting an apartment just to have some temporary housing for when these guys come in. The town hall is not going to be that important where we place it. Uh, we might be able to fit a mine there. I don't want to put it there quite yet. We do have some alpacas that we have an opportunity to tame. I also would like to get a pasture going here soon. Our wood stockpile is going up, which is nice. We're about to use a lot of it here. We're about to use a lot of our resources building this, actually. But I don't want to send my guys out too far and then freeze. So we kind of need to wait until winter's over. So I think I'm just going to play it patient. I think I'm just going to play it patient. Another new tech point. What is our research at? We're at level 5. Which honestly, it is what it is. Like, it's not the best. But at the same time, we're playing slow, and we're not at a point where we need to unlock a whole bunch. We're also playing kind of efficient with what we have, like we didn't waste a point on warehouses yet. Even though warehouses would be nice, um, storage yard is perfectly fine for us as of right now. It's doing great for us. Timber is stocking up. I'd like to start farming some more iron. I don't want to get the mine yet. We don't have the workers for it. And we kind of have other priorities with our immigrants as of right now. We need to start thinking about getting our troops because they just take a while. They just take a while. Other than that, we basically have everything. Um, so in order to get new things, we're gonna need to still need a tailor Still need a gatherer's hut and then we need a pasture and then once we want coffee we can start building that orchard We do need to uh, Scan the map every once in a while. What animal is this? Some geese we got geese over here Probably won't be getting that unless they migrate over towards us. We have some fishing spots. But we want to scan the map just in case we have other uh, or any events that pop up. Honestly, this would not have been a bad starting area either. Um, there's a ton of stone and iron. Plus, we have a bunch of choke points. Um, that wouldn't have been a bad spot to start at all. But, I don't mind our spot. Like I said, we're doing well so far. No complaints yet. It is finally starting to warm up, so let's make sure we are getting some more iron. Um, do we 
want to go that far, I think right here is closer. Go ahead and grab the extra stone as well. Um, food is going down, but that's also because we just had winter. So we'll go ahead and gather a few extra plants, keep our people busy for a while. That'll definitely keep them busy. And then we will finally get the townhouse just so we can re be prepared for the immigrants. I don't want to fill up our residential area with the town hall. I also don't want to place it here in case we get a mine down. Don't really know where a good spot for this is. If the mine goes this way, we can build the town hall like here. We also have a bunch of opportunities for mines down here. How far does this reach? Maybe we'll just put the town hall here. Because realistically, we have all of this area to build housing. I think the town hall right there is okay. And then... Ooh. Pause. Pause. Cancel that. Uh, honestly, that probably is a good spot. Because hear me out, right? When the bandits eventually come raid, chances are they're going to take out some buildings, but they're going to go straight for the town hall, because if they hit the town hall, they take our money. So we need our town hall to be in a defensible spot. If bandits are coming through here, my only worry is that the, if the arrow towers don't get them or if we don't have troops in time, they might just rampage through our territory while trying to get to the town hall. Granted, this is a nice defensible spot. We have a river right here. And I don't know if bandits can walk across the water. Um, just for pathfinding purposes. I know they can't walk over mountains. So if they can't walk over the water, the only way they'd be able to come is this way or around. So they would only be exposed in the northern side. Again, if we get towers here and probably right here, we should be covered. My only worry is that the arrow towers don't necessarily finish them off on the way down and then they make their way down and then we have to kill them on the way up after they've already done all their destruction. So if you guys have any recommendations on where to place the town hall, feel free to let me know. It's a little over an hour for this recording so I'm going to go and end it here. I appreciate y'all's time. I hope you guys are excited to have this series back. I hope you guys are excited to have me back. I think alongside Settlement Survival, we're going to do a Total War campaign. Um, I know Thrones of Decay, the DLC, has been out for a little while. And honestly, I'm recording a few of these before the 4th of July as um, me and my significant other are going back home for the holiday to visit family. And so kind of pre-recording just getting back into the flow of things so it is going to be a little while before this video actually comes up on youtube i'm going to have to edit it and then for uploading it i don't want to tease you guys with just one video before the holiday and then make you guys wait a whole nother week before i can record again so alongside this i think i'm going to do some total war warhammer three of course and play somebody pertaining to the thrones of decay i won't spoil it yet um, I will say that it is not exactly a DLC lord, but it is a DLC faction. So we still get to see the new mechanics and stuff, but as I know, content creators have already been releasing uh, content for the DLC since it's been out. Huh, probably over a month now, I think. They did just announce a what their next DLC pack is going to be. I'll explain that more in that video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are excited to have me back. Um, I appreciate you guys being here, and I hope to see y'all next time. Peace out, y'all.